Hi, here's Dong Lu. Hope you have enjoyed a nice weekend with your family or had some time making awesome art. Today, I want to talk about this little Photoshop tool that I really like to use. I use it all the time at the finishing stage of my paintings. So let's get right into it. This little tool is called Match Color. Match color is to use to match your current color palette to the palette of another image. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? It can make your workflow organic and flexible if your art director has changed his mind about the time of the day or the lighting situation of a specific image. Here is an interior shot that I have done a while ago. It is a warm dominated image for now. It can happen that the art director gives you a specific photo for the colors or asks you to change the light coming through the window to be a blue skylight. What you do is simply go to Image, Adjustment, and Match Color. Select the color reference image as the source image. There are three sliders that you can play with. Luminance, Color Intensity, and Fade. The first two are very straightforward. The third is, that means fade to the original image. More you slide it to the right, more you get the original image revealed. Then you can use masking tools to reveal certain part of the original painting. Let me drop a few photo reference to see how you can actually use this filter in a more organic way. This is a personal painting that I did in the past, a floating mountain emerging from the mist. I simply want to tweak it to another palette, but I don't have any specific ideas in my mind yet. I only had a bunch of lighting reference that I like, so let's see what they can offer me as alternatives. This one gives me a nice saturation range on the greens and yellows. It can be interesting, so let's keep it for now. I duplicate original painting to see other possibilities. This one gives me more reds in the mid-tones. So let's keep it for now too. I duplicate original painting again to see other possibilities. This one accentuated my darks and offered more contrast. I rename each new color palette with some keywords. Desaturated, word dominated, and green dominated. I back up my original image just in case. I will use different techniques that I have covered so far to combine those new color adjustments.
I leave the desaturated one visible only on my elements in the distance. I leave the worm only at the bottom part of the image. I leave the greens on the midtones of the image and the value masking off the brightest value range out of it. I group everything to see the effect, and if I'm not satisfied, I can continue tweaking my layers. Now I'm pretty happy with the result, so let's move to the next. Let's do a more nighttime situation. See how I repeat the same process by dropping a bunch of related reference to have different color match results? To tweak the result has a more blue cyan palette with accents on the magenta lights. For the next one, I will try to match it with some classic paintings. It works exactly the same way.
After the combination of different match color results, you get a more vibrant sunlight within a still desaturated environment. So let's do this last one, another warm dominated one. And I want to have more blue skylight in the shadows. So let's see how I can achieve this result by using the process that I have shown so far. See how the cyan in the shadows is now more vibrating with the yellow in the lights? Complementary colors have this quality to enhance each other's color properties. You must have noticed how this tool is also great for doing color grading. More tools you master, more your workflow will become organic and effective. So I hope this little tool can be useful for your workflow. Let me know about your thoughts in the comments below, it will totally make my day. Don't forget to sign up for my mailing list if it is not done yet. I will link it below. I'm preparing a full tutorial for my Gumroad. All the subscribers of my official mailing list will receive a promotion code when the full tutorial will be released. So that's it for today. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.